pursed lip breathing. Sit comfortably in a chair with your back flat against the seat back using good posture. Your lips should be firmly together except at the very center, almost like you're going to blow out a candle. Now breathe in through your nose and blow out through your mouth. It should take you twice as long to breathe out. Practice this on a daily basis. Also, use this pursed lip breathing technique in the exercises that follow. Warm-up exercises and stretches lower your perceived exertion because muscles are better oxygenated and that makes it easier to exercise. Diaphragmatic breathing. Sit in a comfortable position with your back flat against the seat back, maintaining good posture. Place one hand on your chest, the other on your abdominal area. Now breathe in through your nose, using those abdominal muscles, and slowly exhale through your mouth. The hand placed on your abdominal region should move with each breath. The hand on your chest should remain fairly still. Practice this technique every day. Morning exercisers are more likely to continue exercising after a year because there are fewer distractions than in the afternoon. Posture. In a seated position, move forward in the chair with your hands placed comfortably in your lap. Now keep your back straight and shoulders back too so your spine is in a neutral straight position. Your head is up, chin out, and you should be looking straight ahead. Strength training done consistently two or more times a week decreases osteoporosis. It's also good for diabetes because it lowers your blood sugars and helps build up your cardiovascular system, decreasing heart disease. Seated straight leg lift. In a seated position, move forward to the edge of the chair. Now extend one leg out in front of you while keeping the other bent at a 90 degree angle. Slowly raise the extended leg to hip level and then slowly lower it back to the floor. Repeat eight times and then switch to the other side. Be sure to exhale as you lift and inhale as you lower. Several shorter exercise sessions spread throughout the day give just as much cardiovascular benefit as one long session. Standing deltoid side raise. Begin by placing your hands down by your hips with or without weights. Slowly raise your arms to shoulder height and then slowly lower them back down to your hips. Do eight repetitions. Be sure not to arch your back and breathe out as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Strength training improves balance and coordination, helping prevent accidents, falls, and injury. Standing bicep curl. Place your hands down straight at your hips, palms facing front. Slowly raise the weight while bending or flexing at the elbow joint to shoulder height. Repeat eight times. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Be sure not to arch your back or swing your arms. This should be a smooth, controlled motion. It's important to stretch after you exercise when your muscles are warm and pliable. Stretching increases joint flexibility and prevents injury. Quarter squat. Place your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart with your toes pointing slightly outward. 
Now place your hands on your hips and slowly lower to a quarter squat. Repeat for eight repetitions. Inhale as you lower and exhale on the way up. 90 degrees would be a full squat, so with that in mind, only come down a quarter of the way. Be sure to keep your body weight on your heels to keep from straining the joints. Cool down three to five minutes after exercising to bring your heart rate and your blood pressure down to resting levels. Seated hamstring stretch. In a seated position, move forward to the front of the chair and hold lightly onto the sides. Extend one leg out with your knee slightly bent, your toes flexed towards your body. Now slowly lean forward, looking up with your chest out. Hold the stretch for a count of 10 seconds. Now switch legs and repeat. Be sure not to hold your breath while doing this stretch. When doing pursed lip breathing, it isn't necessary to breathe through your nose, though it can be helpful. The nose filters out bacteria and small particles from the air. The sinuses warm and humidify the air before it goes into your lungs. You get none of these benefits with mouth breathing. Calf stretch. Using a chair, take a small step forward with one leg and a larger step behind with the other leg. Now lean forward while keeping your back heel pressed into the floor and hold for 10 seconds. Then turn around and repeat on the other side. Breathe naturally. Warmed up muscles require less oxygen to work and lower your oxygen consumption during your workout. Torso twist. Your stance should be shoulder width apart with a slight bend at the knees. Raise your arms to shoulder height and then slowly twist to the right side while looking over your right shoulder. Pause slightly. Return to the starting position, then rotate the opposite way. Keep your feet firmly planted on the floor and breathe naturally. Remember, your exercise routine shouldn't wipe you out for the rest of the day. You should feel mildly fatigued, nothing more. If this is not so, then lower your level of exercise. Ankle circles, flexion, extension. Extend one leg out with your toes pointed toward the ceiling. Slowly rotate the ankle joint in a complete circle in one direction. Do this for 10 seconds, then switch and go in the opposite direction. Once completed, keep your leg extended and point those toes forward, then flex the toes back toward the body. When complete, switch legs and repeat the entire sequence. Breathe naturally. Warm-up exercises and stretches lower your perceived exertion because muscles are better oxygenated and that makes it easier to exercise. Wrist flexion extension. 
With good posture, in a seated position, straighten your arms and place them on the outside of the chair. Flex your wrist so that your fingers point straight ahead. Now extend your wrist so that your fingers point to the back. Do this in a slow, continuous motion using only the wrist joint. Breathe naturally. Morning exercisers are more likely to continue exercising after a year because there are fewer distractions than in the afternoon. Back twist. In a seated position, move forward to the edge of the chair with your feet flat on the floor. Now twist to the left, and while doing so, grasp the back of the chair with your left hand. Place the right hand on the outside of the left leg. Hold for 10 seconds. Come back to the center and then begin the same process on the right side. Breathe naturally. Strength training done consistently two or more times a week decreases osteoporosis. It's also good for diabetes because it lowers your blood sugars and helps build up your cardiovascular system, decreasing heart disease. Side neck stretches. In a seated position, move forward to the edge of the chair, feet flat on the floor, using good posture. Slowly turn your head toward the right shoulder. Hold, then return to center position. Now slowly turn your head to the left shoulder. Hold and return to center. Breathe naturally and keep using a slow, controlled motion. Several shorter exercise sessions spread throughout the day give just as much cardiovascular benefit as one long session. Rear deltoid stretch. In a seated position, extend one arm straight out in front of your body. With your other arm, grasp around the elbow joint and pull your extended arm into your body. Hold for 10 seconds and switch to the other side. Breathe naturally. Strength training improves balance and coordination, helping prevent accidents, falls, and injury. Quadriceps stretch. Using a chair for balance, pull the left leg up so your foot is under your buttocks and your knee is pointing toward the floor. Hold the stretch for 10 seconds and breathe naturally. When complete, switch to the other side and repeat with your right leg. If you can't reach the ankle, the pant leg will work as well. 